We all have a story. This is his story, Michael Boothman, part one. He gives us some insight into Trinidad, how it started, and how it's going. And he tells us about his career, just a little, part one. Check it out. It's been about 60 years of music. You know, um, I started in, uh, around um, performing at an early age. I started at the age of around 12, 13, doing little concerts and, and so on. Went on to um, form my band Rockefellers. That was in 1963. And um, that's where my, my career um, started. In most of the 60s and 70s, I recorded, I did quite a few recordings in, in, the, in the 60s and early 70s. Um, actually, the formulation of soca music in terms of the rhythm, um, the patterns that were done in the 68 when I recorded two of my singles. Um, one was Taboo and So They Say, uh, original, and one was a song that was adapted by, um, by one of the older musicians. And in the 70s, I was fortunate in 74, 75, after doing several recordings and so on, um, to get a, a recording contract with our CA label in you know, the US. So that was my introduction to the world um, in terms of music um, production and, and getting the music internationally exposed. Right. So, 60 years onward, and your journey continues. Still continue, yeah. yeah yes. So, uh, Tell me what has been happening with you in the past, let's say, three to four years. Well, I had a job uh, at a Hyatt uh, resident uh, musician and uh, in charge of the entertainment from the um, inception of the Hyatt. Uh, I, I gave them 12 years of my life, and um, just before the COVID, um, I sort of branched out and, and uh, you know, in terms of having my own studio and stuff like that. For the past three years, I've, I've been working on projects and also facilitating some of the younger musicians, my son included, um, who has... Uh, the whole thing is that I, I wanted to leave a legacy, a legacy that would be able to, to, to live on uh, past my time. Using my son as the, one of the vehicles, he was able to come in and uh, be influenced with what I, what he has learned from me, and as well as um, adding his generation, his, his the music of his generation, which is the Trinidad. So actually, Trinidad was birthed at my studio poetry. Um, we, through my son, we were able to have. Um, to have, he has a team of, uh, of young producers, I, Isaac um, Cozier, who is very, very prolific, a very talented um, young producer, and also super youth, um, Joshua Salcedor, and uh, Young Rudd, which is David Rudd's brothers, is one of David Rudd's sons. And they, are, they have been utilized in the studio, um, pro bono, of course, uh, because of the fact that uh, the industry has such made a turn where the economics uh, went out of alignment. In a sense, I have been doing a lot of mentoring because a lot of the young youths come through that really need direction. A lot of them sometimes live the life of crime. And my son felt that it was necessary to give these guys a voice in terms of uh, letting them actually give them an, 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 uh, an alternative. It is a scary thing because the majority of the stuff that came out of the studio wasn't something that I personally would interfere with. One, I, um, I'm not a negative person, but some of the lyrics, and majority of the lyrics, not some, majority of the lyrics, very, very negative, you know, but as he said, these guys, that's what they know. They grew up in that lifestyle. Now, I don't really contribute to that because I figure you could, you know, you could born in the ghetto, but you're not a ghetto a person from the ghetto. You know what I mean, you could, you, you, you come from the slums, but you're not, not, you know, it's where your heart is, you know. And uh, I've been preaching that to the, to the kids about about the, the the messages that they send out, 
and 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 it it, it turned out most of the young guys that some of them recorded here pass young 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 guys you know violently you know as based on the, the the messages that they were saying and, and it was something that i really really um you know can't live with but as my son would say that's what the young people they're going after now and they, they're more interested in the views and the likes and somehow they're getting a lot of likes and a lot of views but so that is what feeding the um, industry